Hi guys, this is Brooke Rogers with Kiwi's Party. I'm going to do a demo using some products from the Face Paint Form Shop today. First, I'm going to use my Micum F6. This is a baby pink color. Super creamy, super opaque. Looks great with stencils. Looks great as a base for any of your designs. Here, I'm going to put it right in between the eyes and I'm going to dab it gently over my eyelids, making sure I have a nice smooth coverage. Usually when I get kids and they scrunch their face up, I tell them to relax their face like they're sleeping. And if that doesn't work, then I have them open their eyes, look at me. I close my eyes really softly so they can actually see what it looks like when you have your eyes closed gently. Um, I'm bringing this design up into the forehead a little bit because I want to mix some of this Micum White with it just to bring that up and a little gradient. Smoothing it all out. Looks pretty good now. So now we're going to test out these stencils with the pressed powders. Um, I have some Mayron powders that I had bought a while ago. They're really vibrant. Um, so I went ahead and used it with this stencil this time. That's the yellow going on. And I wanted to start in the middle with some white because I wanted it to kind of fade from the lighter colors to the darker colors. And then I have a turquoise color and then a blue that I am applying on. And I'm kind of just playing with it, hoping that it comes out looking like a really pretty gradient. And it, it looked decent, so I said, okay. Uh, I made one mistake right there on my forehead, but it's not really a big deal because I have another boost stencil that I was going to use. And if I put it on top right of where that blue is, then you won't even notice it. And this one is from my Boost Stencil set called Swirls. Hindsight, I probably would have used the same colors, the blue, and then maybe faded it out to the yellow and the white. But I don't know if you've done stencils on your own face. It's a little trickier than when you do it on somebody else. So this will suffice. You guys will get the idea. Um, again, using that Mayround uh, press powder putting it on the sides. So here's where I messed up on the top. So I just used my boost stencil in the swirls and brought that color right on top of where my mess up was, covering it up. Voila, you can't even notice it now. So my inspiration for this design was the mandala on the stencil because I thought it was so pretty. And did you guys know that it is a symbol of the microcosm of the universe? So a uh, cool symbol, right? And uh, we're going to use this on the design. I wanted to bring some of that color that was in the middle right there, the yellow and the brightness of the yellow and the white together on the sides because it looked like it was incomplete because it was. And and I had my cool feather earrings in too, so I was feeling kind of like this feather kind of look, so that's what I was going for. And this is my Micum yellow. And I'm just going to even it out so it looks the same on both sides. Just adding in the yellow dots where it looks like I need more color. Sometimes when you're painting, you can just go off of what the person's wearing and what inspires you. And sometimes you just fill in your design like something's missing and you have to put some color in there. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Felt like I needed more dots of color something to brighten it up. And sometimes when you're using dots on top of your pressed powders or your star blends, you have to load up a little extra water on the paintbrush to mix in with your paint, just to make it show on top of that pressed powder. I like it so far, but I'm thinking there's no way that this is done. It has to have a little bit more contrast in it, so I had to add in a second layer of drops just also because my feather earrings were screaming hey we need a feather look over here and so I added that in and then it needed more contrast so it was all very spring beautiful soft colors but I wanted to add something either really bright or dark in there just to make it pop even more
adding in some dots and then some teardrops in reverse. Wherever it needs to be filled in, adding in the drops, alternating out between the drops and the teardrops. So now I'm just going to get a little bit more of my white and I'm going to add in some more drops, but this time I think I want it to be more so like trailing in and magical. So maybe a little thicker, getting to little smaller drops out towards the end, making it trail off. Finishing up with some lip color. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you so much. You can get your supplies at the facepaintformshop.com. I'm just going to show you a photo of what it looked like when I took a picture with my flash camera. I felt like the colors came out a little brighter. Uh, enjoy. Bye, guys.